Plus, mm -hmm. also, like, the prophet usually has, like, a small group of followers, like, I guess you could say, like, disciples. And then they, they somehow, like, form, like, they're either chosen by, also by the church, like, you know, the Catholic church. I'm not saying, like, the pope is a prophet, but, like, they have, like, some, like, big guy, like, I guess you could say, like, for the Catholic, like, like, the pope is, like, you know, and then you have, like, Muhammad and everything, and I'm sure he had his disciples, like, people that believe, like, they, they had, like, a small group of people believe it, and then, like, on their own, they, like, shape, like, their, what's it called, the, uh, like, the Bible, and the Quran, and the Torah, and all that, and they just, just change it. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, all of you have given some, you know, some sense of what the idea of revealed religion is. One is there is a, there is a scripture, there is the self, between the relationship between self and God, you know, whatever that word means, right? And there is a sense that there is uh, something that is passed from one realm to another. The realm of the unknown, right? Who knows, you know, what gets into the mind of the prophet and then collected and spoken. It, it is as if all the prophets and messengers are just a vehicle, human vehicle, to carry the will or the word of God. And this brings me to this whole idea that, you know, of religion itself. And we talk about different religions of the world, and every, uh, you know, every religion that we're going to be looking at, uh, the clusters of, uh, of religion that you're going to be looking at, has the element of this, that there is a human being, that, that is a person who which is res responsible to carry the word and how much this word impacts the uh, generation of followers is of significance. Uh, and when we talk about reveal religion, we essentially we talked about what we call monotheism. Mono means one. Mono means one and theos means Theos, from the word Theos, right? Theos means? Believe. Believe, yes. Yeah, not the name of a rapper, right? Theo. Uh, mono means one. Theo means God. Belief in one God. Uh, and essentially, when we talk about monotheism, we always refer to, especially, well, particularly in this class, uh, in, in our introductory study of religions, we are, we are you know, looking at the three major religions. Judaism, Christianity, Islam. <coughs> Islam. Well, of course, there are variations, like I mentioned yesterday, that the, uh, uh, in Judaism itself, the interesting idea of what God is, it's always an angry God who gave you the Ten Commandments, and suddenly when Moses went up there uh, to, you know, to, to accept the, the, uh, uh, the Ten Commandments, and then what did he find out? He was no, no, he walked really climb up a mountain you know, to speak to God. And then when he came down, what did he, what did he see? People were partying, right? It's like a end of semester party. <laughs> and they were not just partying, but they were doing what? Worshiping. They were worshipping something else. What were they worshipping? You know, if, you, if you are familiar with the Quibicus, uh, what were they? Donkey. Donkey? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a no, sounds no, like a Republican uh, image. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a donkey? Is it? What is it? No, it's like a. Was it gold? Is it a donkey or is it a goat? Is it a dog? No. No, it was a golden thing. Very good. We gotta get get information straight, right? Okay. But they were they were having a goat party. <laughs> they were having it. A goat party. A goat party, a barbecue, or something. <laughs> They were worshipping this golden calf, right? Uh, it's, well, according, again, you, you have to look at different traditions, and I know that people there, uh, in our class, there are people who are very familiar with the scriptures of each of the religions that you believe, and that, that you know, you're subscribed to. Well, it's not the word subscribe, I'm looking at. <laughs> that's right, subscribing or, un uh, you know, a friend, you know, it's like Facebook language, right? friend or unfriend. Okay, but... When you look at all those things, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the myth and the uh, mythologies and also the, uh, you know, the stories of creation, the stories of the beginning of this, because there are different interpretations. For example, the whole idea in, in, in the biblical tradition that the story of Abraham, for example, right? 
who were the one who was about to be sacrificed? Was it Abraham or is it Isaac? Isaac. Okay. Is it Isaac or Abraham? Yeah, I'm sorry, not Abraham. Sacrifice. Abraham can't be sacrificing. He couldn't be sacrificing himself. Was it Ishmael or Isaac? Isaac. Okay. That's very interesting because in one tradition it said it was Isaac, but in another tradition it was Ishmael. Ishmael was the, um, the one child. Mm -hmm. And that began the, uh, you know, the genealogy, the beginning, the origin of the ge uh, genealogy of the, <coughs> the Israelites and also Israel. the Arabs. Yeah, right. And Abraham is the, uh, you know, the grandfather of the monotheistic religion. And remember that Abraham lived during which time? Mm -hmm. If you only look at the, the, the time period of human civilization, world civilization, when did Abraham uh, exist? So Abraham Egyptian, Moses was uh, well. Moses, no, no, Jewish. No, no, Moses uh, were well, the group of uh, slaves. In. Very good. It's from Ur. Ur, where is Ur? Iraq. Iraq, right? Before Iraq was born by the Americans. Okay. <laughs> The civilization of the Sumerian civilization, that was where the beginning of the idea of what religion is. In fact, essentially, the civilizations that all two of the major civilizations in the world were the civilization of the Sumerian, the Fertile Crescent, and the other one is where? Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. In the Bollywood. No. No, that civilization didn't begin in Bollywood. Bollywood is destroying civilization. It's a joke, right? Civilization began in two places. One is the Sumerian, uh, Sumeria. The other one is Indus Valley. 